MachineTutorials.com. Yo, what's good? This is St. Joe, MachineTutorials.com, here with a video to show you how to use the new Arranger inside of Machine 2.0. Now, it's a little bit different than Machine 1, but still kind of along the same lines. Now, of course, if you're doing it from the hardware, it's pretty straightforward. So let's say if I'm working on the hardware and I'm working on Scene 1 and I want to add a pattern maybe in Group B. What I would do is just go to Pattern, and then whatever group I'm in, I just hit whichever pattern, I hit the pad for whichever pattern I want to add. So if I want to add, you know, this pattern in scene one, I just hit it and it adds it in there for me. We'll undo that. So let's say you want to do that from the software though. Because if you remember in machine one, we had those tabs and you can just click them and it adds it in there. Well now, let's say I want to add this pattern right here for group B. What you want to do is go to this drop down right next to the group and click on the pattern you want. So all of your patterns will be in here and if you have more than 16 then you'll have extra pattern banks they'll show up over here so you can just go in here and click this or click this and it'll add it in. So now that just added the pattern for me. Alright so let's say you want to duplicate your scene. The quickest way to do it is go up here right click and hit duplicate. But as you can see it duplicated it but it made the same pattern so now if I were to edit this pattern it's going to affect this pattern over here and if I keep duplicating it with the same patterns then it's going to affect it all throughout my song and that's not what we want so we're going to undo that what you want to remember is you have to enable the pattern option from the controller first so you're going to hold scene you're going to see the duplicate button light up you're going to hold that and you'll see an option that says plus pattern on your top screen. You're going to hit the button above that and now what that means is anytime we duplicate it's going to give us a new pattern for all the groups. So now and it's going to work from the hardware as well as the software. So now if I go in here and duplicate you can see it says pattern 2. Now I can edit this pattern and it's not going to affect this one and we can keep going. And the same thing if I want to add you know my groups in here let's say for group B I want to add a pattern just go down here click it in there same with group C go right here click it and you can keep going like that and again if I want to duplicate I can do so so we can just duplicate it again now I got pattern 3 so now you'll see if we look in here now I got two patterns right there and for this one since it's three if I go in here and look at that you'll see we got three patterns you can keep duplicating it like that so that's pretty much how you do it and let's say if I want to start back here I can just come click on this Then if I want it to play all the way through, you just drag it. So now it's going to play all these together. And the same, if you want to take a pattern out of a scene, you just right click on it. So if, say I don't want this one in here. I can just take this out there. And maybe I want to take out this one also. So I'll just take that out. So it's pretty straightforward. And let's say you don't want to duplicate. You just want to start a brand new scene. So we'll just start a brand new scene from scratch. I can just go here, click on that, and now I can start adding my pattern. So let's say I want to put, maybe I want to put this one in there. So we'll go ahead and add that. And then I also want one in group B. So I'll add this one. And you can see, you know, just click and add whatever you want. Let's say maybe I want to add one in we'll just go ahead and add group D. So we'll add group D as well and you can see that you can just start building it out like that. Now right now it's focused on this scene but of course if I want to focus on all of them I can do that. If I just want to focus on a certain area I can do that. So of course if you got any questions let me know. This is St. Joe MachineTutorials.com showing you how to put together a song in the new Arranger in Machine 2.0. See y'all later. Peace.